Yes, it's recording now. So I would, I would ask you all to mute your mics, please. <clears throat> okay, so let's start. Uh, first, uh, if you have any questions, if you would like to add any comments or anything, please, there is a, a raise hand option there, just down the screen. I think you will find it here or something in your screen. You can raise your hand and I will. you will have the mic to speak. Okay. So uh, let's get started. We have, uh, during the last session, this is our second session in the OSCE uh, preparation course. This is the last one we start, we are talking about the SOS. It stands for standardized OSCE scheme. This is the main scheme that we should follow during our, uh, during our performance in the stations. It starts by the assessment and we say that it, it should take about an average four minutes to get the assessment done. All the steps and ask about the red flags and everything. And then we are talking about the counseling. Mainly guys, today's session is about counseling. Okay, how to give the right counseling and follow the right scheme. Every session we are going to address uh, one important part and one important competency or skill that you have to acquire in order to be 100% uh, qualified to take the OSCE exam. Okay, uh, so today we are going to take about the counseling. Uh, first of all, this session is usually uh, is destined to the first time takers OSCE exam. So I think we have some colleagues who uh, unfortunately this would be the second or third attempt this station could be like it's uh, uh, we are going to do five stations today they are more or less they are simple station they are not so simple but they are not so complicated so it's, it's like for 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 others of you who have been studying and practicing for oski since uh, cup, a couple of months ago today's station would would appear like a simple station to them, but it's not like that. But uh, it's very important to do it for the first time takers. Okay, because so, it's gonna uh, simplify this process and uh, uh, and the counseling process. Because today counseling is one of the most important aspects that you have to matter, master during uh, your OSCE preparation. Okay, so so far so good. Okay, so mainly in the counseling, we, we say four important points where we mentioned the indication, name of the product and its active ingredient, efficacy, uh, for how long should I take this medication and uh, when should I expect to have the full effect and etc. And if there's any possible side effects and how to overcome those side effects and the compliance, how many times per day should I take it with or without food and etc. Okay. And the other thing, the follow-up, and we say it should take around one minute to to done with the follow-up. You mentioned one or two points of the non-farm technique, and if possible, when to see your doctor, if, if any red flags uh, pop up or something, when you see your doctor and vaccination, what about the vaccination profile? Is it updated or no? And follow-up. I would call you in two, three, four, five days. I wish you should see your doctor in two, three, five days, etc. Okay, the follow up is very important and very crucial here. Okay, so uh, this is this was just a sneak peek on the standardized OSCE scheme. Uh, any questions? Very good. Very good. Okay. Okay, we addressed this before and we uh, we handle it in detailed manner last time. Okay, so this is regarding the SOS and here we have the assessment scheme. Okay. Scoring. You should be you should be assessed according to this this one, this scheme. Okay? you have three main competencies communication you should use relevant language professional or common it depends on the your your actor is it a healthcare professional 
or is it just uh, one of the public? Okay. So use relevant language and implement organized approach. Your approach must be organized. Okay, you should follow systematic and well-structured scheme. Okay, a patient can clearly understand your language and complete patient assessment. Here we are talking about, we are hinting about part one of the SOS, all the re relevant and important questions. Okay, to gather as much as information you have to know. Uh, second skill is outcome. If there is any identified, if there is any drug therapy problem, you should uh, uh, address or correct or rectify. Uh, other thing, the three parts of the SOS. Yes, you, you made the right assessment and counseling. And at the end, uh, the follow up. Uh, what about your outcome? Would you put the patient at risk or no? Would you give the patient any misinformation or confuse him or no? Okay. Uh, right pharmaceutical decision made at the end. What about your overall performance? Is it the right pharmaceutical outcome that should be that you should uh, you should conduct or no? What what is it? Mishazi, admittedly. Yes. Okay, checking the reference is very important. Why it's very important to check the reference, even if you know by heart the information. Because here you will have, this is, a, this is the official or formal uh, sheet of your assessment. It's, uh, by the way, it's copied from the PEBC website. Okay, you will have, here we have, uh, knowledge and research application. And it counts for 6% of your total score. So checking the reference, you should be assessed for. Okay, so it's very important to check the reference even if you know the information by heart. Okay, uh, we have confidence. Yes, definitely it's very important. It's one of the key elements to, uh, to get your uh, performance on the scale. Uh, confidence, you should be totally confident in your performance and your language. Uh, show patient empathy and build relationship. Here we are talking about the nonverbal communication and implement as many as competencies professionally. The nine competencies or that we mentioned before. Knowledge and healthcare profession and etc. Okay. So, uh, Amir Teki. Yes. Go ahead, my friend. Hi, good morning, Mohammed. Thank you for joining. Uh, thank you for um, this session. Uh, please, I have a question regarding the reference. What points I focus on reference? Because reference may be composed from at least 10 or 12 papers, and I have at least two minutes to check it. So which point, important point, I focus on the reference? OK, it's a very important question. And actually, today we will try to to spare you the headache of checking the reference. Because all the reference that we uh, supplied today, it's like like a summarized or abbreviated references. We cut off so many pages on them. But your question is very valid. For me, Thank I think it's 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 it, 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 it's all about the what's required in the station. Okay, oh, okay, you have, yes, if you have a new prescription, if you have a new medication <laughs> and your information is not as abundant it, as it should be, so I think you yes. should go to the first thing you should know. Indication? Warning, warning, yes, before the medication. By, uh, I think oh. medication you should, by uh, most of the medication, if, if not all of them, you should know their indications, okay? Right, right. right. But uh, what I'm talking about here is about the warning and precautions. This is one, mm -hmm. of the, yes, it's very important to see uh, pre warnings and precautions, number one. Number two is about the dosage and route of administration. Dosage and route of administration. If you have some other times, yes, you can go as well to the drug-drug interaction. Perfect. 
There are the most three important uh, <clears throat> elements in the monograph and the product monograph. That that means pregnancy and breastfeeding. I should focus on it, or depending on the patient. Uh, I think precautions. Number one should be precautions on mornings. Oh, number okay. two should be the dosage. Number three, drug interaction. Afterwards, yes. we can add pregnancy and breastfeeding. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Would you lower your hand, my friend? <laughs> lower hand. Okay, perfect. So, mm -hmm. okay. So I think we, uh, now we are done with the introductory part. Let's get to work. Okay. Any questions before we start? Okay, you were asking about the mock exams. Some of you were asking about the mock exams, right? Was that in this group? Had they can be sell mock exam, Shabab? No, I'm just going to ask you. Well, mock exam for uh, February. The people who are entering February. Ah. Are you going to ask about the mock exam? No, no. Okay, so regarding the mock exam for the people who are um, going to attempt in February, um, yeah. it will be announced very soon. So don't worry about it. Okay, I believe. But it uh, should be. It should be. Yes, it should be held during the first week of February. February, yeah. Yes, yeah, so don't worry about it. Okay, we will hold a mock exam that consists of about eight to nine stations. Okay, for during first week of February. Lo had can be Okay, so station one. Okay, this is our first station today. And we say, what is the main topic of today's session? What skill should we focus on today? Counseling? Yes. Counseling, yes. Yes. Exactly. Islam, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, participate in this uh, since you know it's going to be a counseling uh, stations mainly, yes. so let's participate in Islam. Let's call him Dennis. I'm going to the mic. Okay, so uh, let's uh, One moment, yes. So, Islam, would you take the station with Gazuli? Yeah, sure. Uh, this is my first time. I, uh, I'm i not aware of uh, if there is a scheme or something to go through. Uh, this, this is my first time. So, uh, is this your first uh, session first, with us, correct? First time to, uh, yeah. To uh, no, so, yes. So I think we should uh, go for someone else. And I'm okay, Dr. Okay, let's do that. The reference? أنا بصي مش هحرمك من حاجة ثانية واحدة here you have the station this is like an uh, maybe you can call it a door note you will have 30 seconds to read the provided material with time begins and you see here no reference provided for this station okay 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 طيب انت معاكي دلوقتي في الأول you have seven minutes mm -hmm. I will let you know two minutes uh, prior to the session uh, end. Okay. Uh, one moment. Okay. 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 So here is a patient profile and it's a prescription. And you have patient profile and you have a prescription. I will have a home like the station. Okay, Gazuri? Okay. Um, yes, yes, I'm ready. So, Susie, you have 30 seconds. They are not counted to your uh, station time. Okay, go ahead. Mohammed, only when should I start? Okay. Yes. I'll start, Sarani. 
Hold my boy. Okay, start. Um, hi, uh, may I speak to the pharmacist, please? Yeah, hi, I'm Suze, the pharmacist here. How can I help you? Actually, my doctor faxed uh, a new prescription for me here. It's a new, uh, it's a new medication to the already confusing one I have. <laughs> oh, uh, can I okay. it, please? Yeah, sure. It's my pleasure to help you in that. Can you have a seat, please, in our private area to discuss this more in a confidential way? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, okay. So is this prescription for you? Yeah, it's a prescription. So you are Jacqueline? Yeah, I'm Jackie. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I know your date of birth, Jacqueline, please? Uh, it's uh, 12th of January, 1961. Okay, uh, Jacqueline, uh, so uh, can I ask you a few questions in order to uh, check uh, the appropriateness of the prescription, please, Jacqueline? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, uh, so what made you visit the doctor today? Uh, I got routinely uh, diagnosed with a uh, um, uh, hormone problem, thyroid problem, I believe, and uh -huh. they, um, he gave me this prescription. First okay. time for me. Okay, what did the doctor inform you about the prescription? Nothing. He was very busy, and he said that uh, your your pharmacist will take care of it. Sure, I'll do that. Okay. So, Jacqueline, can we go quickly through your profile in order to check the prescription, please? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Jacqueline, you are seventy six uh, kilogram, right? Uh, Sixty seven. Sixty seven. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I see here that you have a penicillin allergy, sulfur allergy, and diphenhydramine allergy. Any update? No, same thing. No okay, change. Jacqueline. Uh, and about your medication, you're taking amlodipine 10 milligram. Do you still take it? Oh, yeah. I and regular days? Uh, they said once daily. So, yeah, I take it once daily. Okay, and resovastatin 10 milligram, you still take it? Yes, I do. Okay, and uh, what about uh, Rapiprazole? Do you take it in a regular basis? What is that for? Uh, it's for stomach upset. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. dyspepsia, okay. We're very confusing uh, for me, I don't know. Uh, yeah. yeah, I take yeah. it. And hydrochlorosizide, 25 milligram. Yeah. Yeah, Jacqueline, uh, your medication is dispensed from 89 uh, days. So suppose that you have just one tablet remaining. Do you want also to refill your medication or just uh, dispense? I the believe medication? I have like quite, quite a bit, not only one tablet. I believe I have quite a bit. Oh, so it means you didn't take your medication in regular manner yet? Uh, when I, when I, uh, no, 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 I take, him, I take them in a regular manner, actually. Like when I, when I remember, I definitely take them. Why not, you know? Oh, many patients have a problem to rem remember uh, when they, they take the medication and sometimes they forget. So you have this problem? I, um, I usually take them when I, uh, uh, when I like, I remember, definitely, for sure. Okay, Jacqueline. So uh, today, your um, concern is to fill the prescription, okay, right? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, Jacqueline, uh, what about your lifestyle? Do you, con you consume caffeinated beverage? Um, no. What about alcohol? No, I don't drink. Okay. What about uh, smoking? I don't smoke. Good. Keep it up. What about exercise, Jacqueline? I walk my dog 13 minutes every day. Okay. Very good. Okay. And what about your diet? Uh, it's good that uh, I like I eat like I cook my food myself. Okay. Do you do you uh, take any herbal vitamin over the counter medication, Jacqueline? Uh, besides this medication? No, no, no herbal, no vitamin. Okay, Jacqueline. Okay. Uh, so, do you have any question or concern uh, before checking my reference? No concern. No. Okay. Just need my medication. Jacqueline. So uh, today you have a uh, uh, problem in your thyroid gland and according to your profile, you have a problem in your uh, lipid and uh, blood pressure. Is it right? Mm, the doctor said my uh, levels are low. That's why uh, he gave me this he medication. Okay, exactly. Okay. 
Okay, thanks for waiting, Jacqueline. Okay, the doctor today prescribed for you a medication which is called Sensroid. It's containing a levothyroxine 75 microgram tablet. The doctor mm -hmm. prescribed it for you to take it just one tablet a daily, uh, once a day in the morning. Okay, mm -hmm. it must be taken in empty stomach in the morning. Okay. Um, and this medication, as any medication, have some side effects that can be have stomach upset. And you, you must take it in empty stomach because this medication, if you take it with food, it will affect on the absorption of the medication itself. And suppose this medication will restore the level of the thyroid, which you have a low thyroid uh, hormone. Okay. Um, and uh, as this is the first time you take the medication, so if you have, if you experience any something like a, a severe uh, uh, swelling lips, swelling tongues, and difficult in breathing. It means uh, you have a sensitivity from that, and this is a severe reaction. So stop the medication and go to the emergency. This is regarding the medication. Uh, and about the other medication, uh, it seems that you have a problem to uh, uh, remember when you're taking the medication. If you want, uh, I can help you in that. We can arrange this in like a plaster, uh, plaster bag in order to remind you with the time and arrange it in a good way, if you don't mind. Is it okay? That'd be great. Uh, That'd be great. Yeah. That's be great. Yeah. Okay, Jacqueline. So uh, I'll do that for you. And I will put uh, like this notes in your profile in order to make it uh, like that all the time. Uh, and about the medication, as I told you, uh, Sensroid will be taken in the morning before breakfast. And you have another medication, which uh, for the stomach upset, it must be taken in empty stomach as well. But we can make it at night before uh, asleep. And uh, do you know, Jacqueline, how to take the other medication? And or uh, you Should I take to the Sensroid at night? You can, you, no, you will take the Sensroid in the morning after you wake up. Okay. 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 And uh, after half an hour, you can take your breakfast uh, and um, Rapiprazole <gasps> can be taken before time. Uh, time, dinner. But you can, time, but you can go on. You can continue. Okay. And be sure that hydrochlorothiazide as a medication, you will take it uh, at least uh, 4 BM, not uh, after that, because this will make you pee more. Uh, and if you have uh, any, uh, don't miss your appointment with the Dr. Jacqueline. And if you have any question or concern, just feel free to contact with us. And uh, if you don't mind, I can give you a code within a few days to check how the medication is going on with you. Is it okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I felt. Susie, I'm not happy. 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 I'm I have uh, I have some concerns. Mm. Okay, I will hang on. Let's start. Let's start with the what's with the positive points you mentioned. You mentioned mm. you take a permission to discuss uh, her profile, which is okay with me. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't feel the rapport. For some reason, you were a little really? bit robotic towards me. That's what. Okay. I, that's what like to my feeling. I'm telling you what I felt. Okay. Maybe mm -hmm. with someone else because it's a very subjective. With someone else, he feels that you did like a very good rapport. Okay. Uh, but mm -hmm. I'm telling you, um, we're gonna do this again, and I will like hit on the points uh, to tell you how to do like this kind of tricks or add some words to make sure like you know you get a, a good relationship with the patient. You know. Okay. And, um, uh, second thing, it's uh, okay. So um, you mentioned that uh, you noticed actually this patient is due tomorrow, which is that's that's very good for you. And uh, and the only thing um, that makes you aware that this patient sometimes um, like forgets her medication. That's when I, you asked me, you should be you're due tomorrow. Do you want me to fill the rest of the prescriptions? I said no. I believe I have quite a while, quite a uh, like a quite. Uh, medication. I still have some. So that meant that, that's, I believe, popped up a, a red flag in your mind that this patient is uh, um, is missing some of her medication, which is a very, very good point. Uh, so mm -hmm. upon that, you ordered a blister pack. Um, when you mentioned something like this, okay, I'm going to offer you a blister pack. Is that okay? I said, yeah, that's a very good option. Um, I was expecting you to tell me what you're going to put in the blister pack. So I'm not a pain. Uh, one, involve me, me, involve me as a patient. Um, how the plexor back is going to be done? 
Uh, like okay. amnodipine, amnodipine or pepperidol, hydrochlorosazide, this is going to be put in the morning. For example, Rosova said, I'm going, to, I'm going to put it in uh, supper time. Or whatever you want, it doesn't matter to me, as long as you're going to tell me how it's going to work. You don't give me the blister mm-hmm. pack and leave me alone in the middle of nowhere, right? Mm-hmm. Um, you, missed, uh, you missed a very important uh, question. Uh, you asked about um, herbal or vitamin. I said no. But this patient takes a mineral. This patient takes a calcium carbonate. Uh, oh, you didn't ask okay. about that. And there is a very big interaction between calcium and tensoid. Um, mm-hmm. That's why I, I'm, I, I told you that I'm not happy. Because you did the assessment very good, but you, you just missed one very important question. And that's what usually happens in the exam. You know, you ask about mm. every single thing and you miss only one, one. let's say, for example, um, are you pregnant? For example, you know, and mm-hmm. the, the red flag will come here. You, you miss this, this question, uh, do you take any mineral? I, you didn't mention it, but if you would say that, I would say, yes, I take calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate, yeah. <clears throat> there's two red flags here. Calcium carbonate shouldn't be going with rapabrazole. So we're gonna switch it to calcium citrate, that's number one. Number two, calcium interacts with uh, with sensory. So if you would ask me, when you, you guys, when you uh, take your calcium, I would, I would say one in the morning was breakfast and, <clears throat> and one just uh, lunch time. So you should separate it as well or, or even put it in the, in the plaster pack too. You got Mungkin my point? Yeah. Yes. And I just got confused in the case when I entered, I just saw that it's supposed to be management. Yeah, I was confused because uh, I think that it's uh, like, what is that? It's like a management case because uh, it's uh, the patient miss his uh, drug and I must put him in a uh, blister bag and I must arrange his medication. And at the same time, I was confused. Is it counseling because new prescription? It wasn't counseling, it counseling because, yeah, I understand yeah. your point. It wasn't yeah. counseling. Uh, uh, if, you, if you check the door note, the door note, it would say counseling. Yeah, counseling. but in counseling but station, I used counseling. to... Yeah, I used to have a reference uh, because this is a new medication, not auto C medication. So he must give you, give me a reference to check the point. So, so that's so why me, I missed points yeah. to to make it quick. You I, I don't, I don't, I don't uh-huh. agree with you on this. You know why? Uh-huh. Uh, the question you missed, which uh, like um, a big question, is doesn't need a reference. It just need to have to be in your like in your mind. You have to yeah. go through the assessment properly. But the starting dose of Synthroid is too high and something like that. No, no, no. There is nothing high about oh, like the 75. That's that's not uh, that's not right. The, the, the Synthroid is fine. Uh, but the, the point is, or the main concern here I have is, um, is uh, your assessment questions. I want mm-hmm. you, uh, and actually that's uh, the benefit behind this, this station is I want you to hit on every single point on the assessment. Yes, you're right. <laughs> Yeah. As simple as that. You know what I mean? Um, some people believe when I when I say, uh, do you take any over the counter medication? He's expecting the patient to tell him, oh, 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 wait, wait, I take um, uh, multivitamin. Wait, 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 I'm taking uh, Tylenol. No, you, whatever you're going to um, ask, you will have an answer for. You didn't ask okay. for one question. You, I didn't give you this this answer. Uh, and really please, uh, uh, yes, I would like to clarify something here. Actually, honestly speaking, she's asking about uh, vitamins and herbals and over-the-counter medications. So here I, I thought that you should have responded. Yes, I'm taking yes, I'm taking calcium as well. That's why I, I thought that you are. Yes, for, you, ha- yes you forgot yes. Gazuri, to mention the calcium because she asked about the vitamins and it, yes, it didn't say minerals. Minerals, but, but we are asking, asking calcium. Yes, calcium and calcium and vitamin D as well. She's taking calcium and vitamin D. So uh, here, when she asked about uh, vitamins and uh, over-the-counter or herbal, as a, as an actor, I suppose to reply yes, I'm taking she, calcium. She asked. Okay. She asked me. About, uh, I believe she asked me about like herbal or vitamin. Yes. No, I asked herbal vitamin medication. over-the-counter medication. Oh. Yes, she said that. That's why, but you are, you are right. Anyways, you to be more specific and to to hit directly to the point. Yes, you can add vitamins, me, minerals, herbs, minerals, or any over the counter yes. medication by any uh, type or any kind. That's kind. it. Okay. Yes. Okay. So it would be more specific. For okay. me, uh, uh, yes. For me, just I would like to mention one point, and that's it for me. So we can proceed. So the... regarding again, regarding okay, okay, so regarding the interaction between the the and uh, and the calcium, does it make a reference? 
or it's yes, obvious? it's for just four hours at least. Yeah. Reference? No need for reference. Two hours from from two to four hours. Uh, yes, it doesn't need a reference since no, it, yes. it's very obvious. So th this yes. this institution doesn't seriously need a reference. Like uh, if it do, if you don't if you don't have a reference here, it, it, it's still easy to to like. Um, like to mention um, again, the benefit behind the station is I want you to go through the the, the, the scheme, all of it. You know what I mean? Don't it's, take it's very good. No, no, not in person. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't. No, no. It's not. I'm not uh, like um, uh, giving you guys to make you like help us. No, no. We're here to help each other. You know what I mean? Have so uh, yeah, yeah I, I, it will, and it will come by time, which is expected. You know, uh, we we have been like me and Mohammed. We have been in the same boats one time before okay. so uh, i want you to hit seriously don't don't ask a question like random question and you expect every every like the guy is not gonna be like that's nice you know sometimes they are stick to and they want to to listen seriously to a specific question and uh, they want you to ask this specific question because that's the red flag here you know yes. so uh, one more point before i forget please yes if you will allow me uh, just i remember something here uh, susie uh, please mm -hmm. try to def uh, diversify your questioning technique. You asked about what about diet, what about uh, alcohol, what about the exercise. It's not like that. You, it's, it's okay. Like in terms of empathy and uh, building relationship, you you cannot be so systematic and so mon monotonous. You know what about what about mm -hmm. what? It's not like that. Do you drink alcohol? Okay. Is there any chance that you exercise? Do you have the time to exercise? Is there any chance that you could be pregnant? Would you uh, would you let me know what about your uh, eating habits? Do you eat a healthy diet? That's it. Okay. So you dive okay, just... your questioning technique. It's not the same okay. uh, same sentences every yeah. question. Yes, but uh, she is more in you know, you know, She's old, like sixty years. So that's why I didn't ask also about the pregnant. Just to clarify. No, 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 just I'm giving uh, you an example uh, of the technique. Yeah. Okay. The question is, it's not uh, what about diet? What about healthy? Uh, what about your diet exercise? What about alcohol, etc. Okay. So it's uh, okay. for the accessor, it could be a little bit early to Okay. Tamim. Okay. Esther <laughs> is. <laughs> okay, so we have, we have some questions. Yes, good start, actually. Good start. Thank you so much. Yes, perfect. For me, yes, it's yeah, good wonderful, start. actually. Uh, Sahar, uh, Romo starting dose is high. Yes, but here it's not our concern. Okay, you don't have the reference. You have to, it, it, it just came back from the doctor, so you, you should uh, prescribe it. You should dispense the medication. Uh, yes. Okay, what's the interaction between calcium carbonate and rapiprazole? Would anyone please tell us? Yes. Do, are uh, you, it do needs, you know, guys? Yes, cool. Julia Sus. It needs the acidic media. So the only one from calcium which uh, didn't want, uh, doesn't matter um, it's acidic or not, uh, calcium citrate. Okay, Lemon. perfect. That's it. Ahmed from, yes, Ahmed is already replied. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Mesha Susie, great job. Alina or Aliki. Any suggestion on how to put the meds in the blister bag? Sure. Okay. So that's yeah, okay. I got I got the point. Okay, uh, Nancy. So if you're gonna suggest like a blister pack or something like that, okay. So I would at least give a hint what what is the reason behind the blister pack. So the blister pack is mainly to organize the medication through the day, not to, to help people not to forget. For example, and make it simple in one in one sentence. The all the blood pressure medication or something like that. We're gonna put it in the morning, okay, to 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 make it easy. Uh, the, any cholesterol medication like atorvastatin, rosuvastatin we can put it at night however it's not mandatory for now okay rapeprazole up to you okay so uh, it depends on the on the meal on the heavy meal during the day whatever uh, here the, the 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 most like um, concerning thing for me is like the calcium carbonate when where are you going to put the calcium carbonate um, you can give the patient the um, like the hand here tell him how, how do you take it two times a day yes one in the morning one at night yes make sure that you take the sensory early in the morning on an empty stomach and that's it, just two hours before to avoid the interaction. Simple, it's not even one minute, you know? So it's always good to, when you offer something like that because it's something new to the, um, like to the patient, always help him to, to go through the plaster pack. Otherwise they, they will get confused, okay? Okay, so let's proceed my friends. We have- uh, um, 
uh, excuse me, I, I, I'm raising my hand, but. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I want to ask about if this is a new prescription, shouldn't I ask what were the symptoms uh, that make you uh, go to the doctor and uh, what is expected from this uh, medication to and um, how um, how long it will take to kick in and th these things are not important? Yes, it's important here. Can you see? It's in the follow-up, yes, symptoms, in the follow-up. Regarding the symptoms and communication-wise, yes, it's very important to see what symptoms you have. It will tell you that I have fatigue and uh, like uh, dizziness and etc. Uh, yes, it, it would be uh, nice to uh, to address this point. But regarding the effects, duration of treatment and after how long can we expect positive positive outcome? Yes, mm -hmm. it's one of the main elements in the counseling technique. So you should okay. mention that it it's expected. What? This yes, this medication takes a little bit time, like maybe after. A couple of weeks, you will start to uh, feel improvement in terms of the fatigue you have, and etc. And, and also, should I mention that maybe the doctor will increase the the dose uh, a little bit? Not um, increase. You will adjust the dose according to your lab work. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Uh, a point. I have a point on the on the on the follow up plan. Susie mentioned. Um, she said, "I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna uh, follow up with you," um, but uh, frankly speaking, I didn't hear um, the period of time. Yeah. So here, there are two follow-ups. In general, there are two follow-ups. One to follow up with the side effect, or if for allergy, for example, this is gonna like, let's say, I'm gonna call uh, like uh, follow up with you uh, with a co phone call, like in two days, to see if there's any side effect or allergy come across. That's number one. And uh, follow up for efficacy. The follow up for efficacy here for a chronic medication like this, it's not gonna come up within like a week. It, I believe here it's a, it's a, it's very reasonable if you're gonna follow up after like a, a three months or uh, or ask when when is when is your uh, next uh, lab work and stuff like that to make sure that things are going. You know what I mean? Yeah, so it's that, four to six weeks, uh, doctor. Yes, exactly. So that's that's uh, that's my comment on the follow up. So. Yeah, but I will give him two uh, two time for appointment. So I will, up I will, to I you, up to you, it's up to you, it's up to your availability, uh, seriously. What we do in real life, sometimes if you feel like, uh, okay, this medication may have an interaction and we need to monitor, um, I will call him in two days. And uh, yes. let's say, yeah, so so it depends. As long as you mention the follow-up, so you have like so many options to follow up on. You have to follow up, mm -hmm. uh, if you want to follow up on the efficacy, this depends on the medication. Let's say an antibiotic follow-up, it's going to be like in three days if you see any improvement in the uh, for efficacy. But if you're going to follow up for like, for example, like a set, it's not going to be uh, an effic efficacy point of view. You're not going to follow up in, in a week, right? right. Yeah. Okay. yeah, it depends, right? Okay. So I just want to mention is the timing of the follow-up should be rational uh, upon which points you're going to follow up on, you know? Yes, for what reason? For effectiveness uh, follow-up or for side effect follow-up, etc. Okay, so Fayed, do you have a question? Yes, doctor. Uh question and i'm trying to do the next one but let, not a question it's just a comment but you said all of them uh, she didn't mention common side effect which is you know this case is about counseling so like the time frame when the patient will expect to like get some improvement and common side effect and to take it at least on a regular basis you know this simple things but i think it's like maybe uh, like give about like half of the counseling like three four points and my question is is this question about uh, like suggestion uh, listed back or just constant? Like, let's say I do everything and I tell her when and to separate this one, like this medication, new medication from the others without just give like, tell her like, you know, or tell him like the patient, you have to take it all the other medication on regular basis important for that. Would be like something wrong or something? Like the question yeah, is about listed not, back. Definitely you will not get the full mark who's here. Okay. <clears throat> what about yes you have the profile here she dispensed last the last dispense was about uh three months ago and she still have some quantity at home okay so so she is not compliant with the medication this mm -hmm. is number one so here as a pharmacist 
one of your uh, key roles is to assure the compliance, safety, effectiveness of the medications. So compliance is very important. How to assess in the compliance by the blister bag. The first sentences, uh, sentences she mentioned, uh, mentioned in the station was, I want to get my confusing medications. Have, okay. you, have you marked that? No. Okay, she said that. Okay, so yeah. she's confused. She's confused which medication she, she should take in the morning, which in the night, at night, etc. Sure. Yeah. Okay, so compliance yeah. is very important here. This is regarding the placer back point. And what about the other one? It was uh, full up for side effect, you say? No, I'm just mentioning that she missed the time frame, the common side effect, and the patient has to take it on a regular basis. This is, you know, like simple a few things. But it's important, I think, like in the counseling. Yes, yeah, side effect is important. But she said, she said that uh, it may make stomach one, upset. It mentioned that it, she, yes, she may, uh, it may cause uh, some stomach, uh, stomach upset in the beginning of the treatment. And uh, if you would be, you could be allergic to some of the ingredients of the medication. If that happens, or if you have any symptoms of allergy, please contact your doctor, etc. Et she said mm -hmm. something about the side effect as much as I remember. Okay. Okay. Perfect, my friend. Uh, Sahar. Uh, next station, Sahar? No, uh, not next station, doctor. I'm going to go to But one comment. I didn't see it, but there's empathy. So when the patient got with a new medication, already has a few more medications. Yes. Oh, I didn't see it, the patient care, which is Okay, and the blood pressure medication. So, how is your blood pressure? Where is the patient care? Ah, yeah. ah, deep is up, deep is up. We missed this oh, point. Yeah. Like, it's important to know, like, okay, how is working with you? How is your blood pressure? Do you have any yeah. side effects from this medication? Tamaman, Masbut. He must add it to the blood pressure. That's related to the patient condition. Right. Definitely, yes. Right. Well, empathy, we can have a lot of problems with empathy and Susie. Otherwise, the communication is very good. Even with yeah. the calcium, I believe in he asked about the <clears throat> vitamins and minerals or any other over the counter. So for me, it's I would give her the, the point for this uh, question. But regarding the empathy, yes, I do agree with you. And we, we clarified that to Susie. I think she, yeah. she okay. understood. Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you. Okay. Fahid, you, you want to you wanna do the next station, correct? Yes, if possible. Okay, uh, do you have two accounts? Five, what is it? No, but I'm signing and I'm in the mobile with the laptop. Okay, Dr. Malish, Sabah here, Munkin as a soil. Yeah, Sabah, 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 Okay, in this session, uh, I know that the, co the concern of this, uh, of this session is that, that the doctor asked about the herbal and there is drug-drug interaction between the calcium or minerals, whatever the minerals uh, she took, about the minerals and the levothyroxine. Okay, what about the PPI? I know that she, she is dispensing it from 89 days. Okay, now if I renew the prescription, if I refill it in the blister pack, I put the PPI. If she eligible to take the PPI in the same time of the levothyroxine, okay, let, let me say something. If this case about, not about the levothyroxine and the herbal medicine, if this case about the drug-drug interaction, between the levothyroxine and PPI. If it take in the same time or separate by two hours, because both of them have to be taken on empty stomach in the morning, or what I do in this case, if I change the case. Okay. There's no drug interaction between PPIs and levothyroxine. You can take them uh, all together. There's no correct. By the way, by the way, Levothyroxine is not a must to, to take it on empty stomach. Okay, it's of preference to take it. It's preferred to take it on empty stomach. But even if you take it after meals or with other medications that are not interacting with it, so there is no problem in that. Okay, so you can give, yeah, it's better to separate, by the way, it's better to separate at least one hour between them 
but still you can give if she's an old lady and she has a problem with uh, remembering the timing of taking the medications so there is no problem she can take both at the same time okay and this Thank is happens in many yes even even by the way in some uh, patients we put the calcium at the same spot with the levothyroxine okay you know if the patient is taking them together since two or three years and uh, her thyroid gland or his thyroid gland is, is well controlled thyroid level is well controlled so there is no need to change the, the, the change the timing you know the time of taking the medication you don't you don't need here to separate them because it's well controlled why to separate them she takes the calcium with the thyroxine and it, she it, she's well controlled with that you got what I mean? So yes. there's need. Yes, you don't panic yourself with why to separate them and let uh, mention to patient take it at night, uh, take it uh, uh, thirty minutes before the meals and etc. Okay. 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 Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Yalla Faid. Yes, doctor. Gazuri. No, you can uh, take care of it, Muhammad. This okay. Okay. Uh, perfect. So you have thirty seconds. Mm -hmm. Let's go. And you have the reference here. This will be your reference, okay? Can you give me the first page of the, of the mm -hmm. reference? First page of the reference? Okay. No, I think you check your reference, how, uh, how it decomposes the entire structure. Tamam. Okay. Okay. Uh, Good afternoon. I have a new prescription. I want to feel it. Hi, this is Fade Yusuf, the pharmacy, the pharmacist and UT. Hmm. Uh, sure, right. sure, I will. Yeah, it will, my, it will be my pleasure to help you out. Would you like to have a seat in our private counseling area? So everything will be discussed. We'll keep confidential. Thank you. Okay, then have a seat. So uh, can I confirm your name and date of birth, please? Yes, my name is Rita Abraham. Um, and I'm 32 years old. Okay, Rita, uh, would you like to tell me why, uh, what made you see the doctor today? Yes, I have a new prescription for my addiction. I'm addicted. Mm -hmm. And uh, is it the first time to take this prescription, this medication, yes. sorry? Yes. Okay. Did you, did you take any other medication before for the, to like stop addiction? Street drugs. Street drugs, okay. Would you mind if I ask a few questions uh, to provide you with the best recommendation? Sure, go ahead. Okay, Rita, uh, do you have any allergy for medications? No. For uh, allergy for food or environmental? No. And, uh, do you have any other medical condition? No, that's it. Do you take any prescribed medication? Uh, this one. Only this one. And do you take any over-the-counter medication? The street drugs only, as I say. Oh. So you're still taking street drugs? Uh, I'm trying to stop it. Yes, uh, my last uh, spit was two days ago. And did the doctor know about that? Yes, he knows. Perfect. And uh, you take any uh, herbal, vitamins, minerals? No. Okay. And regarding to your lifestyle, Rita, do you smoke? Yes. How many cigarettes per day? 30. And I just want to let you know that we can help you if you would like to get any information about quit smoking. We will be here and I will be happy to support you at any time. No problem. I'm focusing now to quit addiction and drug taking. So sure, sure. And uh, do you, yeah, 
Do you uh, drink alcoholic beverage? Uh, not so much, no. no. Like, do you... Okay, do you used to do any kind of exercise? No, at all. Not at all. Okay. Okay, thank you, Rita, for answering my question. Just give me... Do you, do you have any other concern or maybe information you would like to share with me? No, I just want to take the medications. And, uh, I see. Yes, I want to go home, please. Can you dispense oh. me the medication? And I, I, I have to leave now. Okay, I totally understand. I'll do my best to make it a quick. Just okay. give me a second. I'll check my reference and get back to you. Thank you. Are you seeing the reference fight? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah, go ahead. Can you show me the side effect? Oh, you know, never mind. Okay, just give me the prescription. Uh, you want to check the dose? No, no, I'm done. I'll just give me the prescription back. Okay, Rita, thanks. For, thank you for waiting. So, uh, your doctor prescribed you a medication called Suboxone uh, with a uh, Two milligram, it contains two active ingredients, the pupioprenophorin, two milligram and 0 0.5 naloxone. And this medication will help you to uh, uh, quit or like help you to uh, stop the addiction. Uh, uh, you may, uh, you may like, it's like this medication, you have to take it one tablet under the uh, tongue uh, and uh, you need to take it on a regular basis uh, in, I take one you tablet, may, what, under the tongue? Under that, yeah, just dissolve it, put it under your tongue. Oh, and, uh, it's really bothersome. Uh, by the way, uh, two minutes remaining. Huh? Uh, it's really bothersome. Can I swallow it with the water? With a cup of water or something? No, it should be uh, absorbed from your mouth. Uh, this will be uh, like for better absorption and uh, less side effect. So uh, you can try that. Otherwise, I can contact the doctor back and see if he has another suggestion. Do you want to take a try for it under the tongue? Yes, I can. No problem. Okay. I have to. I have to. OK. Uh, I'm this sorry to that, but this is... is this is the best medication that will help me to quit? Yes, this medication is uh, by, recommended by guidelines to stop addiction. OK. And uh, so this medication will uh, may or may not cause you some side effect, like constipation. You can just uh, uh, try to increase your fiber and take from food or maybe increase your water to like two to three liters per day. Also mm -hmm. can cause you some drowsiness or dizziness. Just be careful when you try to change your position. If you are, if you were sitting and try to uh, standing up, uh, you may or may not experience one of the rare side effect, which is uh, uh, if you feel any uh, sense, feel like, sensitivity reaction like uh, tongue, lips, or uh, swelling, face swelling, just stop the medication and go to the emergency uh, right away. Mm -hmm. And just by, by the way, I just uh, want to let you know that uh, uh, you need to get a new prescription. This medication will uh, only for three days. No, oh, really? Yeah, so this is for uh, 16, 17, 19. And yeah, before, like on 19, you need to get prescription to be ready on uh, the next day. Oh the my God. Day. So you will dispense me only three days today? Yes. No, it's only one. And tomorrow you will come again. Uh, I, I have to uh, witness the those uh, intake. So you have time to do it over. in the Time is over, but you can go on. Yeah. So yeah. just, yeah. So every day will oh come. Yeah. You, so you, you will dispense me only today? Yes, so this medication, like the, it goes by this way, by our regulations. It's recommended to take it in the pharmacy. Patient has to attend and uh, ingest it in, like, in, in front of the pharmacist. Uh, we will go for like few few weeks on this way. And if it's everything is okay and you are like, uh, like uh, 
attend every day without missing any um, doses, we can help you to get, give you more uh, after the doctor agree on that. Oh my God, it's really ridiculous what are you saying? Okay. I'm really, yeah, I saw it's bothersome for you, but this it's, it goes by this way for this kind of medications. Okay, no problem. So, okay, if you okay. don't mind, can I? Yeah, do you have any other concern? No, just give me the medication, please. For sure. Do you mind if I give you a call uh, maybe tomorrow just to see if you have, or you were already tomorrow, you will be here. So we will discuss if you have any concern. Meanwhile, if you have any question, just give us a call at any time. Okay, you can do. Thank you, Rita. Have a good day. Okay, fine. You took about eight and eight, eight minutes and 15 seconds, 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, yes, you. You did everything perfectly, actually, but you you, you forget something very important. Have Don't you actually, chew. What is it? Don't chew or crash. Yes, you don't say that. Okay, this is one point. Uh, but you say put it under your tongue. So I think it, it's enough, okay? It's it's better to say don't chew or crash as well, but because um, you said put it under your tongue, so I will... Yeah. I will give you the full mark in this question. But about about what about the pregnancy and breastfeeding? Yes, very good question. Yeah. Did you mention anything regarding pregnancy fight or breastfeeding? <laughs> no, I didn't. How old is this lady? She's, she's uh, it's young. She's yeah, young. she's young. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Imagine if this lady is um, is pregnant. So this is contraindication, and you shouldn't that's, be dispensing it, right? That's right. Again, that's that's the golden golden question. You have to make sure that mm -hmm. you are um, like asking uh, asking all the questions. Mm -hmm. Same thing, okay. Suboxone, um, is, uh, okay. by the way, Suboxone is not contraindicated in pregnancy. It's, it's, not, uh, it's not recommended. It's not yes, recommended. It's not recommended. Yes, but it's yes. not mainly mainly it's better to be t taken with uh, like methadone is better to be taken with uh, uh, with pregnant. Uh, uh, patient. Uh, another important thing I want to ask you: um, Why this patient is at your pharmacy today? Is he decided to to quit addiction? Right? Yes. Uh, why are you not like we're not motivating? You're not following the motivating um, interview with the patient. Why didn't you give him the motive? Oh my God! Really? That's a very good uh, point. Um, uh, that's the right way you should go through. Um, I appreciate. Uh, I appreciate your effort. It must be so hard for you. Anything? Any? Any question? Any? Any sentence that shows empathy? I didn't feel that you're empathetic. No, I didn't do any what? empathy. Yeah, I didn't know what to do. Why this guy is she, like she decided finally <laughs> to take out the, to stop taking medication from the streets and go to the right uh, right pathway in his in his life. So that's very important in this uh, in this station, right? Yes. yes. I didn't feel any 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 kind of empathy. How do you agree with me or no? Yes, I do. But I you know I was very careful and scared from the recreational uh, medication like oh again medication. okay that's the good question you do. asked. Yes, yeah. that's a good question you ask. Do you? I heard you ask it, Mohammed. That uh, when is the last time you took uh, street drugs? He said two days ago. Do you think? Do you think uh, this guy will take the box on the first dose and like don't, uh, stop taking any street drugs from now on, or he can relapse and go next day and uh, go to street drugs again? What do you think? Maybe. Maybe will 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 abuse the healthcare system. Not and maybe, definitely he will abuse. <laughs> yeah. Not maybe, yeah. definitely he will do that. Why you didn't recommend naloxone kit for safety purposes for this? Why? Did you forget? No, but uh, like uh, he didn't. Oh, she didn't have any concern about this thing or any like th something that like you know trigger me in the, in the case. To do with a concern. It's your concern as a pharmacist to make sure that he is in safe situation. And, and I ask you a, a question. This guy will take the suboxone, okay? Two milligram mm -hmm. is very is very low dose, by the way, okay? Right. Yes, it's a store dose. And then he may go get out from your pharmacy and meet his whatever friend or anything, and they're gonna start partying and start like using again. That's most of 99% of these people, like specifically on the first days in the program, they're not still yet adjusted, okay? So it's always mm -hmm. any 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 person who comes to your uh, uh, or, or any new patient who comes to start to the program, 
it's mandatory, mandatory for you to offer the naloxone kit as a safety purposes. Not from judgment point of, of view, because mm -hmm. we all know that he's gonna relapse again, because that's the first dose, it's not gonna do anything, right? But from the safety point of view, it's very important to offer naloxone kit here. Mm -hmm. okay? okay. Do you agree with me? Yes. If totally. you don't agree, uh, tell me. Uh, no, challenge no, me. Tell me no. 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 I don't agree. Yeah, no, you know, I agree totally. totally. And I like I like this step to you know to offer something that the patient didn't ask or didn't mention in the case for sure. Especially the like as an, as an example the naloxone kit here, but. Uh, I don't know because it's only three days and I'm not sure if he's going to continue on this or no, but naloxone kit, I know that for sure. We have to give you it know, for any Do patient. you know why it mentioned three days? No. Okay, so that's a good question too. Uh, so Boxone is one of the medications that you step up <laughs> so fast, No, not like methadone. Methadone, let's say we start the program on 35 and then after a week, they can increase it to 10%, like 45 or something like that. But methadone, no. Methadone, you can literally increase it every like couple of days. Start with two milligrams, then the next day, four, the, in two more days, four milligram. Um, and then after two more days, it's gonna be eight. And then the maximum dose uh, you can give up to 24 or 26 sometimes, okay? Mm -hmm. So he gave him as a start dose of two milligrams, which is not gonna help him, it's not gonna work. He's not gonna be stable in two milligrams because that's too low. <laughs> so after the three, the three days, he will come back with a new prescription, like for four, okay. exa for example, or six milligrams. That's why the, the beginning of uh, the beginning of the program is specifically with uh, Suboxone, it's like a very short period of time because he, the doctor wanna increase to reach uh, the maintenance um, uh, strengths of the suboxone with the patient. Okay, that's why it's given um, as um, as a very low short period of time. It's a very short period of time. I mean, that only for uh, for three days. Okay. okay. Uh, that doesn't mean oh he, maybe he doesn't come in or he come in. I don't know. No, that does that does have nothing to do with this point. He will come back with a new dose, like a higher dose. Okay. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. it's, not, it's not yeah. Continue. Tell me. Uh, regarding the question or the let's say complaints or the objection that the patient did uh, that uh, I want I don't want I want can I like swallow it with the water what is the, yes. the the good the good like answers for this kind of questions I don't know if can we swallow the suboxone can we no we can't no we can't okay. it's it's uh, dissolve it under the tongue if we swallow it inject it dissolve it anything like that it will not gonna work okay, okay. and about the patient wants to take more than one like because she complained, oh, I have to come every day. Yes, it's just is the yeah. rule. Of, and yeah, you ask me this question. Important. Yeah, you ask. That is the rule. He has to come every day to the pharmacy uh, for observe, unless yeah. the doctor. You have a carry. This has to do with the doctor, not us. Okay. Carry but is the point. You have this point here in the in the in the. Yeah, I'm sure right. everything in the okay. reference. Yeah. Excuse yeah. me. Uh, hi, I would like to ask a question. Yes. Oh, yes. Hi. Uh, you? you said, uh, thank you, thank you. You said uh, sometimes uh, a street uh, drug. Yeah. So, uh, uh, maybe that one should be another case. But uh, we need to ask, when did you take the last street drug? Good question. You said, he asked, he asked, he asked this him. question. Two days ago. Yeah, he, he asked this question. That's a good question, Home. And the one yeah, he asked that this question, question he missed? Yes, go ahead, Gizra. No, no, the, no, I'll keep going. That's okay, uh, the question he made, what type of, of street drug are you taking? Yes. Okay. I don't have any information what? about all of this. That's why I was confused. I was uh, very afraid to, to like touch the street drug or to ask her to stop because I don't know if it's going to be offensive or no. That's no, why you no, know. No. Why, why she is on the, you have, you have to ask a, yourself a question. Why she is on, on the program finally? Why? Why? She, she is in, in the program because she want to quit street drugs. Same same question like what you asked Mohammed. Do you still smoking? Mohammed said yes, 30, 30 cigarettes a day. And you asked your program. You offered your program. We have here. Yeah, because I have knowledge about this program. Same That's thing. Same thing. Doing. Exactly. <laughs> same thing. Exactly. Same thing. This guy okay. is tired from street drugs and abusing narcotics. And that's why he's now he's getting treated. You know? Okay. Yeah. Okay, one last point, one last point. Mohammed said, oh my God, I'm gonna put it under my, my tongue. That's really, really bothersome. Uh, to overcome uh, this question, uh, 
it's, it's mandatory to, to, to give the full effect, okay? Uh, but Suboxone, uh, uh, suboxone uh, tablet can be split it because it's a little bit um, uh, bothering. I agree with this. So you can split it into two or into four and put it and dissolve it under the tongue, okay? And uh, you mentioned one main thing regarding the constipation. You said that you may have constipation. For this, you can eat fibers. Constipation from opioids uh, is not treated with fiber. It's treated with sunacot, okay? So that's some misinformation. You, know, you got it? Yes, I got it, but uh, I, I, my, I wrote it down once them? you said it. You said you said this, and I wrote it down. It it hit my ears actually. So any opioid constipation should be overcome with the sunacot, a stimulant, not yes, from fiber. Right. Okay. Like we, even even we can't give a trial for like lifestyle. <laughs> any 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 narcotic constipation should be treated with yeah. sunacot. Okay, yeah. that's okay. that's uh, number one rule. Okay. okay. Okay, so we have a couple of questions here. Uh, iPhone is asking if the lady was pregnant. So what we do in this case, you, first thing you have to ask, is your doctor aware about that? If yes. she said yes, so you can proceed in dispensing the medication. Okay, if uh, you have any skeptics or something and you are skeptic about the medication, you can hold the prescri uh, prescription for a couple of minutes or hours and then you can dispense it. But here, Suboxone, is compliant, is uh, compatible with pregnancy. It's not contraindicated, but it's better to avoid. Okay, but risk benefit, because th this lady, if she's not going to take the Suboxone, she will take the street drugs. And street drugs is more, are more harmful to the pregnancy than the Suboxone. Okay, that's why Suboxone, you can, you, anyways, for, from my perspective, you have to dispense it anyway. Excuse me, may I ask a question, please? Uh, just wait. Who is it? I can see her talking. Um, Noor. Okay, just allow me a few seconds, Noor. I will revert back to you. Okay. Sure. Uh, Islam, since the prescription is missing, no, we we assume here that the prescription is valid and legal. Okay, it's uh yes in in real OSCE stations or in something yes you should refuse to dispense it. But here, we assume it's correct. No problem with that. Uh, give her suboxone, or you must contact the doctor to change it to methadone. Why, my friend? For pregnancy, you mean? Uh, no, you can give her suboxone. Suboxone is comp compatible with pregnancy. Uh, what is the best way to handle this concern regarding coming every day? There is no way. <laughs> <laughs> there's no soft way to do it she yes there is no way that, that is the law of the program out. yes exactly he has to come every day until the doctor makes sure that he is reliable and uh, then starting giving him a carry this is, has nothing to do with <coughs> your hand as a pharmacist that's the doctor option no my question it was about uh, yeah uh, handling him by uh, by empathy by something what what's the best way to handle this concern i can't change I know, it i know yes you can say i know it's a very good uh, it's it's a very big commitment but you're solid enough to go through this and uh, i really appreciate your commitment and um, you're on the right pathway simple because okay. it's a real Thank commitment you. to go to the pharmacy every day that's a real commitment and to the pharmacist as well, by the way. By the way, there are, yes, there are patients who keep coming to the pharmacist every day since 15 years ago. That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, what's the point of exercise? I don't know. What's the point of exercise? Maybe uh, exercise doctor. for addicted patients? Yes. Yeah, I no, I asked questions about uh, do you do exercise, and I was trying to ask about the diet. Uh, is these two questions considered irrelevant in this question? Uh, this really, it's, it's not. Yes, you can you can uh, interpret that in two ways. First, you can say that exercise is useful for the the guys who are withdrawing from the addict uh, from addiction. Cause you like you know it's it can give them like uh, another thing to do other than uh, thinking about the addiction and injection and etc. Mm -hmm. So exercise would really uh, enhance the mental status, as well they will give them another option to do other than the mm -hmm. smoking and etc. So you can okay. say that, okay. Yes. Uh, but it's not it's not so really relevant. But you you can hit on this point. Okay. 
So let's get back to Noor. What's your question, Noor? Hey, um, I have two questions actually. The first one is, is it possible to give uh, suboxone carries for uh, patients? Yes, it's possible, but not during the first uh, couple of weeks. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. And the other question is, um, what if the patient uh, has uh, taken uh, the last dose of his uh, street medication recently, like this morning or yesterday? Does that affect um, the, the suboxone dose or time? Okay, it's depending on what type of medication she take, she takes or she took. Okay. Uh, okay, if she took, for example, a medication with a long half life, mm -hmm. yes, she has to wait for a duration uh, to make sure above uh, to make sure that its uh, its action has been fade away, fade out. Mm -hmm. Okay, for example, if she take a methadone, if she has been injecting herself with methadone or something like that. You should make sure to pass about three to four days to start suboxone. But today, if she, uh, as per your say, you are saying that she, what if she she took the medication, the addiction, the uh, excuse me, the street drug, this morning? So in this case, for me, I would not dispense the prescription. I would defer the prescription for one for one or two days. Okay, to make sure that she's not going to have any withdrawal symptoms. Mm -hmm. Okay. So should I contact her physician? And, yes. Uh, okay. Yes. In this case, yes. It's uh, yes. You can contact the physician and hold the prescription for one or two days. Okay. okay? Thank There's you. There's no harm. There's no harm here. Okay, and you mentioned something that. Um, if we want uh, our physician, uh, if wants to switch the patient from methadone to suboxone or uh, vice versa, should we wait three to four days? Yes, it's, it's uh, one to three days according to the CTC. But here, yes, yes. I will clarify that because there is a new, uh, a new, new guidelines. Yes, okay. yeah, guidelines. Frankly here. speaking, we will we will talk in deep in the MCQ part about the, the addiction treatment and stuff like that. Um, in the past, in real life, uh, what do you, do you want to do is, um, or that's what we usually need to do is um, when you if you're gonna uh, switch from methadone to suboxone, we're gonna stop uh, the methadone for two or three days. Uh, upon um, it depends on the withdrawal symptoms. When is gonna start? Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, when the patient feels the the methadone withdrawal, and this point we can introduce the suboxone. Okay, and if you want to switch from suboxone to methadone, it's the next day, no problem. Stop the, let's say if you're going to stop the suboxone today, we can start methadone tomorrow, okay? But now, because the switch is very hard and we, they found out they put um, the patient, and it's not practically done uh, properly because um, the, we're, you're dealing with human being. If the patient starts feeling the withdrawal, he will definitely go to the street drug because he doesn't want to go through these withdrawals. So what they usually do now is a new guidelines. It's called microdosing. Microdosing means, uh, let's say if this patient on high dose of methadone, let's say 120 milligrams, they're gonna decrease a little bit by a little bit until he reaches like around 40 or 50 milligrams. And once they hit the 40 and 50 milligrams, they're gonna introduce very, very small doses of suboxone for one or two weeks. So at during there is an overlap for one or two weeks and then um, increasing, increasing um, the suboxone a little bit by a little bit and decreasing the methadone until they win him, off, he win him off completely of the methadone. And um, he's find himself and his receptors find, find itself like occupied by a larger number of um, uh, suboxone molecules. That's how they started to do since actually like last year, the mm -hmm. microdosing and they approve it by the way. And it's working. Uh, they, uh, the most um, important thing in this microdosing regimen is um, the compliance of the patient um, in the program. They do not lose, lose patients anymore. Got my okay. point? Mm -hmm. So this is for switching from methadone to suboxone. But for uh, from suboxone to methadone, we just need to wait one Let's day. Stop it, and then the next day you can start methadone. It's fine. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Okay, station three, guys. Sorry. Uh, no, no, I can't just, uh, I have a question. 
قول عم سريعا جدا يا مغني معلش اوكي ات واز منشن ذات وي شودنت كراش سو بوكس اون ديورينج ذا ستيشن بات يس Like in the field, I see the, the pharmacist crushes a spokesman before giving no, the No, it's a split it, split it, and put it under the tongue, not crush and swallow. There's a big difference. You can split it up to four, okay, but still put it, dissolve it under the tongue, not crush this it my friend. and this swallow. Is That's a big Sorry. difference. Yes. Sorry, this is a monograph here. Don't cut, break, crush, or chew suboxone. Okay, maybe I got confused. So as another question regarding uh, uh, what kind of street drugs you have, I, I know you have addressed this question just now, but really, do I have to go through this? Because uh, I'm not sure if in, in the exam, if you told me like, I mean, heroin or something else, uh, how can I deal with this? Because basically, if he got, uh, if he got a new prescription, that means he, um, he made his urine analysis. So you know, you know what I'm heading at? Yes. Okay. So, uh, okay. So even uh, what, what happens in real life, the guy who's going to start the, the program, he will literally, literally, I saw this my, with my eyes, literally, he's going to start in the morning using the, his dope, okay, or his heroin, whatever, injection, okay, mm. or deloaded, or whatever his drug of a choice, okay, and then go to the doctor in the lunchtime, okay, And the doctor will have the urine sample. The urine sample which shows up everything, benzos, uh, ritalins, uh, whatever, heroin, cocaine, whatever it comes up, right? Mm -hmm. And then the doctor will still will put him on the, uh, on the suboxone, why? And he will tell him that you're gonna find, you may experience some, uh, some withdrawal. How, how he gonna overcome this withdrawal symptoms? By giving him a prescription of clonidine. So he will give him the treatment, suboxone, and he will dispense with him uh, with it, um, uh, a clonidine prescription as well. Sometimes he will dispense as well, if you can see this in practice, oxybutynin. To take mm -hmm. care of like yeah. this, right, right you see this in practice right so yeah, he yeah. still want to to control the patient don't tell him go away because we're not guarantee that he comes back right because it's an addiction it's it's like something controlling his his attitude or behavior so he will give him suboxone and he will understand the patient will understand he's gonna go through uh the withdrawal but we have to give him something to overcome it okay until he will sustain from the uh from the street drugs which is which is usually, usually a clonidine and oxybutynin, okay? Oh, okay. So, so actually, well, well I, I thought clonidine is for the diarrhea due, due, due to withdrawal. This is what it I... Cont I clonidine here to control all the symptoms of the withdrawals he may encounter. Yes. And, and oxybutynin, what exactly? exactly? Agitation, nervousness, and this. Oh, yes. Okay. Thank you yes. very much. This is very okay. helpful. Thank you. It's used mainly in the acute withdrawal, clonidine. It's not in the maintenance. Mm. Okay, clonidine we use it exactly in... du specifically during the start. That's true during the start. Detoxification. Mm. Okay, Thank station you. three. Who's our candidate? We have Hada. Doctor Hada, would you like to go? Yes. Who's next? I can do it. Let's do it, Noor. Who are you, Noor? Okay. Noor. One reference. So, uh, I believe that's the hardest one. <laughs> <laughs> no, please. Oh, hopefully not. <laughs> so, uh, Fayed, uh, do you have any question about your performance or something? No, no, doctor, points. thanks. Everything points, okay. So you have to follow yeah. all the scheme, the assessment, pregnancy, breastfeeding, etc. Sure. And for sure. the street dog, yes, it's better to ask. And that's it. Okay, so... So, so we can deal with it same when we deal with the smoking cessation. Like, good for you, or congratulation, maybe, or keep yes, it up. Yes, of course, of course, 100%. Okay. Come on. Okay. Okay, so I know what's in the Maki reference, so Maki has a station profile there. Oh, okay. I think it's a thing, Sanya, for our kid at Bussi, or I think I have a particular reference. Oh, Justin Trudeau. Oh, yeah, my husband's hair. Can you zoom? Uh, zoom it? Yeah. You have 30 seconds. You have 30 seconds. What's her name? Noor? Noor is going? Okay. Noor. 
حظها حلو قوي Hello, uh, may I speak to the pharmacist? Yes, this is the pharmacist Noor. How can I help you? Hi, can you fill me this prescription, please? Sure, uh, but before, may I know your name? My name is Justin. And your date of birth? Um, I believe it's in your file. It's 13th of August, 1967. Okay. Um, I used to be your, uh, your client here. Okay, I just want to make sure <laughs> I'm new here. So, Justin, um, would you like to speak in the private counseling area, or is this is fine? No, I'm fine. Okay, uh, I see in your new prescription that you are um, going to take metronidazole, uh, 500 milligrams. Can you tell me why you are uh, being prescribed this um, medication? A diagnosed with a stomach bug. Diagnosed with a stomach bug. The doctor gave me this medication and I need it. Sorry, what, what was that? A stomach bug. I diagnosed with a stomach infection okay. and the doctor gave me this medication. Um, okay. Um, I will prepare it, but before that, uh, may I ask you a few questions about your medical history? Yes, you can, but fast, please. Okay, I'll do my best to be quick. Uh, do you have any chronic uh, conditions, medical I am, yes, I'm epileptic. Okay. Um, is there anything than epilepsy? No. Do you take any prescribed medications? Yes, it's in your file. It's in the file in front of you. Yes, I take okay. it from you guys. Okay, okay, I see. So I see that you are taking the tricetan syrup. 100 milligram uh, per uh, ml. Do you know? Do, can you tell me how do you take it? Yes, I take it five ml twice a day. Okay. Um, do you take any over the counter medications? No. Do you take any uh, supplements, vitamins, minerals? No. Okay. Do you have any allergies? No. Okay, uh, your, your new medication is called metronidazole and it comes in form of capsules and the doctor wants you to take it as one capsule twice daily for seven days. This medication would help you to uh, get rid of your stomach infection and, um, and you should take it uh, with or, without, with or without food, just be consistent the way you take it. Mm -hmm. um, when I should feel relieved? It should give you some relief within two days, but to get the full effect, you may need to wait until, the, until you finish the full course. Okay, does it interact with the medication I'm taking? Um, I need okay. to check my reference, actually, okay. to make sure to give you the accurate information. Would you mind if you wait one minute, please? Fast, please. Okay. Thanks. Can you scroll down? That's it. Only two pages. Okay. There's important information here. <laughs> Okay. Um, 
may I ask you a few questions about your um, seizure condition? Very controlled. Okay, that's very good. Uh, okay, I'm giving up. Uh, actually, uh, I can't know the drug interaction. Those. <laughs> Are you giving me my medication or no? Um, okay, I will give you, but I'm just taking to the, um, like to Hamad, I guess. I missed up. Stop it. Okay, so two minutes remaining. Go on. Mm. Okay. Metronidazole has some side effects. I will consult you about the side effect of uh, metronidazole. You may, you may get uh, diarrhea, and this is completely normal. Um, oh my God. My, my doctor gave it to me because of the stomach bug. So I'm going to get like a stomach medication, stomach upset as well. Mm. Um, okay, what else? So Max, I, I should expect diarrhea. What should I do if I, this, this happens? Actually, it should stop. Uh, it should stop there. Yeah. Sorry okay. for this. Uh, um. Okay. Um. That's it for today. I will follow up with you. Um. After one week to see if you are uh, getting relief uh, or not. You follow up with me after a week. Yes. To for what? To check that you. Uh, become relieved and uh, get uh, get better get better okay. how, how should i take this medication um i think i told you before you should take it one one capsule twice daily with or without, with or without food. food with or without does it matter okay thank you thank you thanks good sorry, day. sorry for being delayed <laughs> <laughs> I, I, am, I, am, I am actually so sorry for uh, for this uh, tough. It's very very tough. I understand. Okay, I if someone know. else, uh, if someone else wanna try it, is okay. If you want us to go through it, I'm fine too. Let's. Can uh, I try, it, please? I, I can try. Yes. Yes, you can. You can try next station, please. We have two more. Uh, so uh, let's let's get yes. Let's assess this one, and we have two more stations. Well, we are late in time. Okay, so uh, have you asked about the alcohol intake, uh, Noor? No, oh, true. Okay. Yes. What, happened, what, what happened with metronidazole and alcohol intake? It, uh, like, uh, it has a severe interaction. Why, why exactly, severe interaction. Disulfiram yeah. reaction. Exactly, yeah, why, you didn't, why you didn't mention this? I didn't... Uh, come to my mind. Yes. And guess what? The levit the levit the levit mm -hmm. syrup you we I'm taking, it has alcohol in, in it actually. Oh really? That's why really. I told you. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he told you there is a I very important note here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because okay. I, I understand this is a, a little bit hard. It's very it's hidden. It's very, <laughs> hidden. yes, I know that, but it should be obvious as well. Like, I know it's, like, but it's a syrup. Any syrup? You have like, only two pages reference, guys. Let's, let's yeah, exactly. put things into perspective. Yes, let's do things into perspective. Okay. We have here, you have here only reference of two pages. Okay. So what's the point beyond, beyond that, beyond that? You should know by heart that there is important information within here. Okay, so uh, what other thing? Why, why should I consider, uh, should be interested in contraindication and hematological uh, it's, uh, precautions, etc.? There's no problem with this patient. So, okay, I should focus here. This one is very important. Non medicinal ingredient, yes, I should verify it very fast. You will notice that if you if you know in your background that there is an, a severe interaction between metronidazone and alcohol you would notice that there is an alcohol ingredient here. Okay? It's, okay? it's very striking. If you know, you will find it very striking to you. There is an alcohol here with metronidazole. So this is uh, no, no proceed uh, sign. It cannot proceed here. Okay? So we cannot give okay. it here. We cannot give it. So what's so, your recommendation? What's your recommendation since you know that levetiracetam already has alcohol? So what's your uh, recommendation? May switch him to uh, oral lipitracetam. 
yes, like that's capsules, one of the things. Or, or, or don't contact the doctor to get another antibiotic. It doesn't matter, right? Yeah. So yeah. that's the DTP here. Uh, my my way of communication as a root patient um, is fine, but however, you didn't deal with it properly. I feel like you were like, mm, you know. I actually I want to point. cut to the 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 conversation the middle because I was lost. So I, I yeah. And one well. one another thing I didn't I didn't notice your empathy. So now I'm a patient who coming to you in like a pain with a stomach bug, like with stomach infection. Why you didn't tell me, oh my God, I'm so sorry to hear that. It must be really bothersome for you. That's it, yeah, one second. Yeah. And I will feel, oh, that's, uh, she's caring, right? Till right. now, we, we made like three uh, three stations. No one shows any empathy. And <laughs> that's the main core, <laughs> the main core thing in, in OSCE, by the way. <laughs> so yeah. you're, good in, uh, you're good in the knowledge. I'm fine, therapeutics, but um, the main real thing that they assess is the communication. Uh, no one mentioned anything. Mm -hmm. I have a question, like how to deal uh, with this uh, kind of uh, cases in OSCE. Like if I um, have uh, a case and uh, a patient asked me a certain question and I didn't know the accurate answer. Okay, how so you're going to lose, simply, you will lose the mark because whatever he asked you, he should find it. Mm -hmm. Yes, it has nothing to do. I'm not going to tell you, oh, you can postpone him. Uh, you can tell him I will come back later. That's a nice way of being like a failure. I'm sorry to say that. But any question asked by the two minute question that's uh, asked by the, the patient or the actor is meant to be solved. That means if you tell if you let him go without solving the, the station, that means it's unsolved or marginally solved. Okay. okay, so in that, that, that means something that you didn't hit on during the assessment. For example, you didn't ask me about if I drink, what about my diet? What about my lifestyle? What about why, why already I got the stomach bug? A stomach bug, did I, did, I, did I eat outside? I would say yes, I eat like on the go. So okay. that's the reason, you know, you didn't ask all this question, so you didn't put your Correct. hand on the main issue. So, so that's that's your fault. So that's not uh, something. Oh my God! They asked me a hard questions that I didn't. I didn't um, have the chance. I didn't have the time to answer. No, because you didn't go through the assessment properly. That's our mistake here. Yeah, the assessment. Okay. okay. Well, last Is there question. another point, Noor? Uh, last question. Uh, yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Is in like in, um, in general in OSCE, uh, do the cases or the the patient ask me his concern in the middle of the case? or in the, at the beginning of the case? Because here he asked me about the drug interaction uh, at the very end. So do I expect the patient to ask me mm -hmm. about his concern like at the very last or at the yes. beginning? Yes, so there is something called two minutes question. Well, mm -hmm. Two minutes question means at the, at the, with the peep of the, after passing, after five minutes are passed from the station, there is a peep. You should hear a peep in the OSCE station. Mm -hmm. At this peep, the actor should ask you a question or something. Okay, it can happen. He can ask you uh, at any time he need he wants. Uh, that's why we here put. If you check the SOS that we prepared, you will find here. You have to ask him. Any other concern? Any other thing? Would you like to share with me before going to check my reference? Okay. So okay. it's really, you can ask him to make sure that he doesn't have any other hidden concern. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So sure. here it is. Uh, okay. So last point for me, uh, uh, there's something that you said, it was very irritating when he asked you again, how should I take the medication? I know that you told him, you told him that uh, you take one capsule twice daily, but you yeah. say it like, uh, I think I told you before. <laughs> yes. Right? yes. It's very irritating. You cannot do it's that. Very, yes. Yeah. Yes. Offensive. Uh, yes. It's very fun offensive. Yeah. You can say, uh, yes, sure. I can tell you. Uh, as I said a few minutes ago or a few seconds ago, you can take one tablet, uh, one capsule twice daily with or without food. Uh, you can try without food. If it, if it bothers you or if it gives you some stomach upset, you can take it after meal. No problem. Okay. Yeah. This is the last, last, okay, last thanks, one. Thanks excuse for... me, may I ask uh, what is your reference? Uh, Levoteracetam syrup, what was the reference? The monograph. 
Yes, I I have RX text. I cannot find syrup. All of them are tablets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Kepra. It comes under Kepra. Kepra, the Kepra. brand name. Yes, yes, Kepra. Okay. Not the Levitricitam, the okay. generic. Go, go, Kepra. Yes. Here it is. And yours is uh, also tablet. It's not uh, syrup. See, please. No, 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 no. It's it's uh, it's comes in syrup. That's here's a non a non medic medical medicinal ingredient. It shows here uh, the the um, everything the tablets For the uh, and yeah. and the syrup. That's everything. Okay. It's written polyvinyl alcohol. See, because I cannot find alcohol tablets. Yeah. It's just one moment, one moment, my friend. So you're asking about the alcohol, right? Correct. Here it is. It's written. Polyvinyl alcohol. Yes, dear. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. No problem. Okay, Mohammed. Open the next station. Hello? Yes. Yalovina? Yeah. So, next station. Who's next? Anthony. Malisha, I have a question. Sorry. I have a question. I have a question. The the. Yeah, from from my experience, yeah, the the PVA is uh, uh, the polyvinyl alcohol is it is a solid uh, excipient, and it 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 exists in many tablets as well. So should I, yeah, uh, it can it, uh, exist in many tablets. That's right, and it uh, it's uh, here, but here is the syrup. The patient is taking the syrup. So, okay, so, 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 so should, should I, uh, if, if I replace the syrup with the tablet, it may exist in it. So, no, no, it's no, not it, that. It, it, yes, go it's, ahead. It's not the alcohol that may interact with metronidazole, or is it? I, I don't know. It's not as a, a liquid alcohol. It's a, it's a kind of polymer. Yes, it's so you're concerned if you will switch to a tablet, like Levitricitam tablet, it may found as well, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're, you're, uh, I agree, no problem. So here is, um, if we, if you like, let's say, decide to switch um, the antibiotic to another one, that's what you think that's going to be the main or the only, um, the only, the only solution of this uh, station, right? That you're concerned? Yeah, and, and another thing that it, if by any means this patient is on other medications, other tablets, should I check them one by one uh, if they are containing any polymers that uh, have alcohol uh, intensity in them? No, uh, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't happen in the real life. Uh, no, yeah, exactly, yeah. It doesn't. So, Here so, you have so, only so th th that's why I'm feeling that, that poly is, polyvinyl alcohol is nothing. not... Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, but here, here you have a station and you have a new medication, metronidazole, and you don't have any reference for metronidazole, correct? Okay. Okay, and uh, the reference you had here, it was about the Kepra, and you have the table and non-medicinal ingredient and etc. Okay. okay, so you should know that the answer is here. The answer is heading somewhere here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have to check the reference. And you okay. know, every it's very important counseling point for the metronidazole always to ask the patient about the alcohol consumption. Yeah. Okay. okay. So that's, okay. It's very yeah. okay. So that's the point uh, behind this stage. Uh, let's proceed. Mina, uh, Who's next? Yes. Yes. أحمد نظام يا عم أحمد نظام قاعد مستخبي كده ومش عارف في إيه أحمد نظام أحمد نظام ما بيحبش يشارك لا أحمد قال لي عايز يشارك الستيشن اللي جاية لا أحمد هيشارك الله يمنعك أحمد قال لي أنا نفسي أعمل معاهم ستيشن النهاردة فهو هيشارك يلا يا إيمان يلا 
هو قال لنا برضه ان انت قلت له نفسك تعملي اه بالظبط قلت له ستيشن رقم اربعه هو عايز اعمل الستيشن اللي جاي عشان ما عملتش فهو هيعمل يلا يلا يا ايمن حمزه لا انا سامع هو بيقول انا حمزه سهله وبسيطه فيري اي ام هيس سيك ذا جاي از سيك سو موف اون ايمن طيب الو الو يس مصطفى مصطفى يا اي كان دو ذيس وان Please, yes, amazing. <laughs> okay. Uh, so first, um, I'm um, proceeding from my phone. So it is very small for me to see for the for the reference. If you mind, uh, I can get the reference on my uh, RXTX. Uh, nom, nom, nom. Just one moment. Excel Jones. Mm -hmm. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's very direct station. This is uh, very simple. Okay. And, uh, don't worry. So, oh, that's one from the not. Uh, it's from the Goggles, not from the RXTX. Google? Yes, it's from. Google. I didn't find it in. Uh, yes, you got <coughs> product monograph exemptions. Just one second. I need just to. Uh... You may not need it, by the way, but you. It's really? To have it. Yes, it's okay. better to have it steady with you. Okay. Mm. Okay. 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 يا اهلا بابن البلد ابن <تصفيق> اهلا بيك ويست ايلاند فندم؟ قاعد في ويست ايلاند ولا فين؟ لا حته بعيده شويه اسمها سان جون سو ريشيليو بكتب جات له ورا خالص ان شاء الله اتس نوت ذات ايزي ذات اي فاند اي فاند ريفرنس Check out Google it, uh, Exelgence Monograph. Yeah, I did it, but it's, What's the it's pulling me out like Pfizer uh, website. No, why? Why does it you just search it? Uh, one moment, my friend. Exelgence Product Monograph Canada. That's it. Oh, you, you will have it. You will have it first. Step. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Exergence. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I'm here. Okay. <clears throat> okay. 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 So I'm going to give you thirty seconds to share okay. the, uh, the profile. We can provide a material and we can find There we go. Yes. Go ahead. Can you make it bigger? Yeah. Thank you. Another material. My name is James Lanouette, and I have a new prescription for my doctor. I would like uh, to tell it to me. Yeah, sure. Uh, first time, my name is Mustafa. I'm the pharmacist. Um, I will do that for you, James. So first, we need to go to the private counseling area that to collect some information, give you the best recommendation for this, OK? Sure. So uh, could you tell me first, uh, why did you go to your doctor today? Oh my god, it's uh, for my arthritis pain. Arthritis? Yes, yes, yes. So what's happened with your arthritis? Is it not controlled? Uh, I don't know. He gave me uh, a medication a couple of days ago, but I think, okay. it, yes, I had a problem with that. I what had, happened exactly? I had some adverse events like nausea, vomiting, and like I felt myself like very irritated. Okay. Irritated, so uh, I stopped it. And he prescribed me a new one today. 
Okay, I'm sorry to hear that from you. So uh, I will do my best to, um, yeah, to dispense you this medication. And now did you uh, stop taking the first one? The, I think this is the methotrexate, am I right? Correct. Okay, first, uh, I didn't get your name, sorry. The, your name, James Lanolet, and your age is 51 years old. Am Correct. I right? Yes, sure. Okay, so now uh, you uh, stop taking the methotrexate, am mm -hmm. I right? And since, since when did you stop it? Yesterday. Yesterday. That's good. Okay. I take it uh, only once, by the way, once or twice. Okay. So uh, just I uh, need to collect some information about you that to get a whole picture about you and give you the best recommendation for this medication. Okay, let's do it, please. Okay, so uh, can I know, do you have any other medical cond condition other than the arthritis? Yeah, no, that's it. It's only arthritis that I have. Okay, do you have any medical allergy? No. Okay, uh, do you take any other medication? Uh, no. Okay, uh, over-the-counter medication like Advil or Tylenol? Yes, sometimes I'm taking Advil and Tylenol for my pain. Okay. Uh, also, do you take any minerals, vitamins, herbal medicine? No. Okay, so also I would like to ask about your lifestyle, if you don't mind, that would help me to, uh, to get the whole picture too. Mm -hmm. So uh, do you drink any caffeinated beverage? Uh, no. Okay, uh, what about alcohol? Uh, not so much, on occasions only. Occasion. And do you smoke? Uh, yes, sometimes. Okay, how many cigarettes per day? Five or six. Okay. So, uh, do you think about quit, quit smoking? Uh, it's not so high that I'm taking. I'm taking only five cigarettes per day, so I think it uh, should be fine, eh? Well, actually, smoking is not uh, is not good for the health in general, and particularly in your condition. So, uh, uh, what I would suggest to you that uh, you need to stop smoking. Uh, this is, will be good for your health. So, whenever you feel that you need to stop it, really, we have a different program here in the pharmacy, and we can uh, we can handle it together to get you out of this. Yes, we'll play okay. problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, such you need to get the decision, and then you will uh, you will we will be there for you. Uh, do you have time to exercise, uh, James? Uh, I cannot. I'm in pain all the time. Okay, I'm I sorry for that. Yeah. yeah, and what about your diet? How could you describe it? Uh, it's a good one. Okay, that's good. Your uh, lifestyle almost is good. So uh, just smoking. Uh, try to keep your, uh, your diet healthy. And uh, from time to time, if you get, um, uh, if you can call a physiotherapist, that will help you to get some exercises to help you to, to uh, yeah, to overcome this condition too. So let me check my reference. And uh, sorry, I, I didn't, yeah, I didn't, I find here in your profile that you uh, uh, also prescribed for the, another injection for uh, Shingrix, I think, mm -hmm. or uh, so yeah. So did you start taking this? Okay. So did you start to take any uh, any injection or something like this? No, or? this is a vaccine, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a vaccination. No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. So this is on hold in, on your in your profile. Am I right? Uh, yes, I want to take it as well. If you have a nurse or something, you can uh, give me an appointment with her. Okay, uh, yeah, I can can give you that. But I need to know first: Did you get any um, recent? Uh, during the last year, any recent of uh, herpes doster infection? No, 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 no. Not at all, okay. No, my doctor prescribed me for uh, the new medication. He told me that may suppress my immunity, so it's better to get vaccinated. Okay, so uh, let me check my reference and I will come back to answer your, uh, mm -hmm. your time. question. Okay. Yes, you have your reference in hand, no? Yeah. <clears throat> Two minutes remaining. 
Yeah. Okay, so uh, here upon checking my reference source, thanks for your waiting first. So I, I check my reference here for your uh, for the this medication. Uh, so uh, here I find for the vaccination, uh, you should we should um, we should uh, do the vaccination at least two weeks uh, or four weeks before initiating this medication. So if you have the intention to take this in uh, injection, it is very important that to get. Uh, Injection uh, injected with this vaccine as fast as possible, at least what uh, the, before what starting. The... That I have to to wait two weeks till I get the new medication. Uh, you, yes. No, I cannot do so. So I, I'm in pain, as I told you. So I, I yes. Uh, yeah. I'm hoping that this medication will be better than the one before, because I cannot tolerate it anymore. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. So, uh, we can start the medication and we can hold for a while uh, the vaccination up to you get like uh, uh, you get your arthritis controlled, and then we can evaluate the situation uh, just before taking this, this injection. Yeah, so, so uh, infection, yeah, well, if you mm -hmm. don't give me the vaccine, I will get the infection because my, my immunity will be low, correct. Your immunity time, time, time is over. Huh? It's over. Yeah, yeah. Go on, go on, go on. Uh, Am I correct or not? Yeah, this you yeah, should the correct. Yeah, yeah, the vaccination is just to prevent that happen. But with this, with such medication, uh, we cannot start uh, vaccination with such medication. But because this medication is like uh, reducing the immunity. So uh, you will not get the profit from this uh, medication. It might cause like... Um, uh, uh, like it might cause like relapsing or showing up some infection. I mean, why? So we cannot risk to take the vaccine. The vaccine, the vaccine this, can give yes, can give, can cause me that if, infection. If, can yeah yeah because the, the medication that you are starting to take now, Zeljan, oh. it will reduce your immunity. So it is not appropriate to take the, any vaccine because we are like giving okay. you a small part of the infection in your in your body. Uh, yeah. So we have to decide right now. If you want to start the vaccine, we'll do it now, and then we start the medication. What after do you two think? Weeks. What do you think from your perspective? What I I think that we can start in a vaccine now, and after two weeks we can start the medication. Okay, I will do it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good day. <laughs> have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm it, was a, <laughs> it was a big fight, Mustafa. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's, it shouldn't Let be me... like that. Yeah, It's not a big fight, but yes. What do you think? Is this is the right outcome? Or do you believe this would be the right outcome? You keep him in hold for two weeks till you get him the new medications. And he's complaining since the start of the, from the first minute of the, of the station. He's keep complaining, right? I'm in pain, I'm in pain, I can't do sport, I can't do that. I hope this medication would be better and mm -hmm. yeah. okay. So yeah. Yeah. I have well, I have a very, very small question. I'm very sorry, a very small not question, a point. This the is a live vaccine or Am I right? No, no, this no. Is not it's not about vaccine. the live vaccine. No, no, no. It's not a live vaccine, by the way. So that's uh, mm -hmm. that's uh, something that's a fact. But my point here is again the embassy it's very very small but it's very important he keep uh, i heard it so many times i'm in pain i'm in pain and what did you say for for this nothing uh, say something <laughs> say something kiss your hands <laughs> say something you know I repeat it about three times three times three times say anything i'm so sorry to hear that you're in pain that's it simple I, your pain? I will, yeah <laughs> you keep yeah. ignoring that's not an active listening you keep yeah. ignoring the, the yeah the concern of the patient that's wrong 
Okay, mm-hmm. so that's my point. It was a very small point, but I believe it's very important. It's main point here. Go the right answer. What would be the right action here, guys? Can anyone tell? What do you think? What what should be done here? Uh, can we suggest um, a painkiller? Uh, uh, okay. Like like. Um, well, uh, first of all, I think we should go back to the doctor to suggest something um, uh, else. Um, I mean, something for the pain, uh, something probably strong, like uh, maybe Tylenol 1 to control his, uh, his pain during the time that he's taking the Shingras. Why, why you wouldn't uh, dispense him, like give him like an over-the-counter? Uh... It's, a, it's a rheumatoid arthritis pain, and, and the, the, the patient was complaining more than one time uh, of the severe pain, so it's probably uh, gonna be uh, be a severe pain that cannot be controlled with um, how, how, a regular how over the you, counter. How did you know it's a severe pain? The uh, patient how, as um, had Mustafa asked about that. No, actually, um, I took the impression from the patient um, uh, when he mentioned that um, maybe it is, okay, uh, two or so three again, times. So, oh, well, no, actually, no, this is a very no, good question. No, you, you can cannot, ask yeah, the patient. No, you cannot make the assumption like that. Assumption, yeah. So so what, what, to, ask, to, to get the fact, the patient, yes, this, go ahead. to get the fact of it's a very severe pain, what, what's the correct question to say? Tell me. I remember that there is a scheme for exactly. asking. Yes, there is a scheme yeah, to ask from, the patient. From, 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 yeah, from scale assess, 1 to 0 to 10. Yeah, that's right. That's yes, totally that's right. right. Yes, I am. Yes. Totally yes. agree. Yeah, forget about yeah. it. From a scale, from a scale from zero to ten, like since zero is the lowest pain, ten is the highest pain. How do you degrade? How do you grade this? That's a very simple question. Yes, my friend. And you will know what that? happened. Pain, if any, how bad on pain scale, location and type. Okay. So uh, pain. Yeah. You have to verify. Yeah. Uh, is it possible to assess? I mean, the Kalam and Akhirat Ganyan. Mil Hamam. Sorry. Quira, Quira. Hi. I'm talking from home. I'm Arab Shwaya, Madish. Okay. Do you hear me better? Not so much, but you can go on. No problem. I just wanted to assess if the patient really is absent to have any shingles. You know, for example, do you have any history? Did you have chicken pox before? So uh, this way, maybe uh, we can uh, assess if really this vaccine is needed or not. Okay, so you you said that we should ask the patient if he has any history against the chicken pox or something, right? Uh, yeah, right. He asked about the he asked about the shingles. Good. But yes, you can go. You can still ask about the chicken pox. But the the point here, why not to dispense the Shingrix with the exelgens? Why not? I mean, it, it will not do any harm, but it won't be effective because his yeah. immune system is not uh, is suppressed, so it won't react to the vaccine. So as uh, Mustafa said, okay. So your highest your height your highest risk here. Is that the medication may not be as effective as it would be, it should be, correct? So there is no risk. You can say there is no risk from taking the Shingrix. But can we say that Shingrix can give can cause uh, some infection to you, as Mustafa said? Is this a correct information? No, it's not a live vaccine. Yes, it's not a live vaccine. It's recombinant. Exactly. Like it's recombinant herbal exactly. zoster vaccine. Recombinant means uh, means it's subunit vaccine, it's killed one. Yeah, it's written also in Table Four in uh, Rheumatoid Arthritis Chapter. Uh, inactivated reco- uh, herpes zoster vaccine it can be taken, can be considered yes. without any restriction. Yes. Yes. Correct. Okay. So there is no harm from giving the vaccine at the time of dispensing the uh, exelgens. So uh, we were talking about the uh, correct action here. Who who, who was there? Was, who was talking, my friends? I think there. Who was talking about the right actions that we should conduct here? Had uh, to get me. Was it about the pain pain management? It's yes, me. Iman. Yes. Yeah, yes. Iman. Yeah. Okay, Kamil. Pain management. Yes. Here you. What you should do here, you should dispense the exergence 
okay, uh, the new one and giving him the right uh, counseling from the monograph you have. Uh, take the medication twice daily with food, with or without food, but it's pre with preference, you, can, you should take it with food at the start to make sure there is no intolerance or something. And uh, other thing about the effectiveness, this medication is more effective or at the same effective or lower effective than the methotrexate. This is one important point. Is it more effective or same effective? More effective. Any more it's used for the more severe cases. Okay, so it's more effective, correct? And the, the duration of action, and uh, excuse me, the time to get uh, the full act, the full effect. It should take shorter time to get the full effect than the mesotrexate. So, in terms of the uh, the time to get the full effect, it's better, and in the terms of effectiveness, it's also better. Okay, so this medication is better than the mesotrexate and the dosage. And for your pain, do you need anything for your pain? The guy is taking over-the-counter medication, Advil and uh, Tinolol and etc. as he said during the station. So over-the-counter medications are effective to control his pain. Okay, so you can still give him an over-the-counter painkiller. And uh, sorry, how about the Shingrix vaccine? Dispense it. Dispense. And yes. What about the flu shot? All the vaccination. Dispense it. He says. Exactly. Could he say that? Exactly. So that's 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 we should actually recommend. Are you, are your vaccinations are updated? Because this guy's this guy's an immunocompromised patient. So he's at risk, big risk of uh, of getting any infection, right? So it's always very good to mention. The vaccinations should be updated specifically with certain type of patients, like asthmatic patient, for example, pregnancy, uh, immunocompromised, diabetic type one, all these patients. If you didn't mention this point, so you're missing a health promotion uh, mark. Okay, so that's very important. Okay, empathy, empathy here is very very important, very crucial. Okay, with the pain, you have to show some empathy and uh, and uh, pain scale, pain scale, he's already in painkillers, yes. Okay, uh, is the dose mesotrexate correct? We're not talking about the mesotrexate here. Exalgence, you mean? Five milligrams? Yes, you can check the reference. You can check the monograph attached. It's correct, yes, no problem. Okay. Is it clear? Doctor, I'm, I missed just one point. Uh, you said like he's taking uh, over the counter. Should we add more because he has pain or no? No, he can go. Yeah, he can keep taking the medication that he's taking like Advil. If it's controlling his pain, yes, for a while you can uh, keep taking it till the new one, the new medication has the full effect. Mm -hmm. No problem. What do you mean right, by adding more? What do you mean by this question? Like intensify the strength, maybe like if he's taking Advil, because what I understood, but I, was, I wasn't focused on the concern of the patient when he came in. Uh, mm -hmm. if he ha I, I thought I understood he has pain. That's why yes. our uncontrolled and, and pain. So that's why the doctor switched it from methotrexate to this one. Okay. Okay. So, so still the, the concern is Pain. Still, there is a pain, and what I know, but I'm not uh, like sure 100 yeah. percent. But the biological. You know what, Mike? You know what, Mike? If if someone told me uh, I'm taking like Advil and uh, acetaminophen over the counter, and he still has pain, you know what should I do? I would definitely check the the strengths he takes per day. Maybe he he's underdosed. Maybe if you just take one tablet twice daily of 500, and he can take up to six, for example. I would do that, right? Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, do something yeah. for the over the counter always because good. still yeah. there is pain. Yeah, always and the, the, the biological, it needs like maybe I don't know, it's a long time to start working. Yeah, I agree. It's not, it's not within like a few days or maybe more than weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is, the, this is the only concern. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I would check. I would check how many tablets and what's the strength. I would do that. Yeah, I agree with you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so guys, should we stop here? Or should we proceed? 
here we have a pool a if you choose i will uh, this is like a pool okay you can go where uh, if you want to to proceed to the last station you can go for a if you want to stop here you should choose p b okay so i think we are uh, it's been it's been a long time that we are discussing the station uh, sorry I'm please okay. explain again please repeat okay if you want to continue to the last station you you should sh choose a if not, if you find that uh, enough, uh, it's enough for today, you can choose B. Where is that? Uh, yes, it's very... Or I've been bothered. Okay. We have 55 participants here. I think we should get at least 50 uh, answers. Mm-hmm, 56, 54. Hmm. B, 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 we have B here, uh, yes. Uh, would you please mark your note with your answer on the poll? Noor, Wadina, Noor. وسوزي وريم ومروة لو ما حطوش اجاباتكوا هنا معلش حطوها تاني حطوها في ال فين البول ده انا مش فاهم هو مش باين عندك؟ انا ما فيش حاجة اصلا اللي اختارت دي اختارت ازاي؟ انا ما اعرفش انتوا عملتوها ازاي دي اصلا طب يا شباب ما تختاروا عشان انا just type انا مش عارف انا مش شايفها لان انا انا الادمن هنا فمش شايف قدامي حاجة Uh, pool in progress. Ah, yes. Ah, فهمت. خلاص فهمت. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, 38. 38. Gazuri, what do you think? I chose to Frankly speaking. Yeah. Time. Let's wait till uh, 50 participant answer. عايزين يا شباب حد يجاوب حد يدخل على الاجابات I would like to ask do we have a recorded of that after the class yes you will have it like uh, video recording you will you will see it in uh, you will see like uh, Google Drive like, uh, like, yes like uh, that you are seeing now it's video recording Excuse me, do we have access for the uh, cases as well? What do you mean by access? Like, can we get them? Uh, uh, you mean the Yeah, the cases we solved today. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay that's it. So, so far it's 50-50, my friends. So, uh, for me, I would go for B. <laughs> So it, it would be 21 versus 20. So B wins. <laughs> okay. Muafakun. Muafakun. So we can continue next session, inshallah. Okay, guys. Thank you. Sorry, where <laughs> Excuse me, next Saturday or next two Saturday? Later. Uh, you mean next session? Yes, next session. It will be, no, most likely it will be in two weeks from now. Mm -hmm. Every other next, week? Every other week, yes. Because next week we have MCQ session. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Perfect. Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, my friends. Have a wonderful thank weekend. You. Thank you. I, I, hope, I hope it was beneficial and people like get benefit. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you.